Morning everybody, this is Greg with Mineral Spray Salapia. Uh, I wanted to show you what I got going this after, or this morning. I finished this tank stand on this side. You can see the tanks underneath, those are going to be fry tanks. I've got a 40 gallon tank here that's going to grow out the fish um, to a, a larger size, a little bit quicker. Um, these fish here are breeder stock, none of them have been um, sexed yet. Uh, you can pretty much pick out the males. You'll see there's some larger fish in here. One there, one there, one there. Uh, several large ones in here. Those are probably males, although I have found a couple females that size. This is another breeder colony that I've set up. That's my personal breeder colony. These are very small fish. They probably won't breed in a while. I had one that female right there got a mouthful of eggs the other day, but she finally ate them because they weren't fertilized. I hadn't put the male in. That's the male right there. This is another group of fish. There's about 110 fish in here. They're going to be picked up next week. As you can see, they're sold. I'm just keeping them for the guy. He had to have knee surgery. On this side over here, I've got one, two, three, four colonies that are ready to go. Uh, they're all sold. They will be going out as soon as the weather at their destination clears up a little bit. On the other side, I've got um, this breeder colony. Now, there's, there's a female holding right there. She's a pretty large female. She should have four or five hundred, maybe six. Uh, I've harvested a couple of broods out of this tank. I put a young male in there and he's doing pretty well except he's a little he's a little aggressive and he's starting to nip on the fins I may have to get him out um, this colony has produced a couple of broods although there's nobody in there holding now I just harvested three of these last week and this is a young breeder colony there's the male and uh, these guys have produced two cup, two broods so far. As far as fry go, uh, earliest came out on the 15th of February. They're about a half an inch. Uh, then the 18th of February, that was a small brood, about 175 fish. Then on the 21st, this is actually two broods, approximately 600 fish. Then on the 22nd, Another small female had babies. There's about 125 in here. I think you can see them back there on the back edge of the tank. And on the 24th, uh, a big female had babies and she had about 500. Uh, in addition, another large, larger female had fry over here. I don't know if you can see them in there or not, but there's about 450 in there. Uh, they're mostly towards the back of the tank. But, uh, so I've got about 2,400 fry right now. Uh, they, they will be getting big enough to start shipping fry uh, the end of this week. And then uh, in about two and a half more weeks, they'll be uh, one inch long, most of them. You know, they, they grow at different rates. So I'll have some aquaponics grade. I'll have some food grade. That female right there is holding a few babies. She doesn't have many. Uh, and I've got a tank with some small fry in it that I'll just add these, add those fish to, to that tank. Uh, the fish house is still a mess. You know, I'm fixing to tear out this center rack. You can see what, what all is involved in tearing out this center rack. I got two stands held up by blocks. I'm no, no longer going to use the blocks. They take up a lot of space and they're very heavy. So as you can see on this one, I've done wooden legs on this whole system over here and I've lowered it a little bit so it's easier to clean the tanks. It's about six inch lower than the tanks on this side. If I hold the camera at the same height, you can see the difference in the height of the tanks. So I'm just still working at this, uh, trying to get it all done before the end of March. I will probably have too many fry. I won't have any place to move them yet. And it, it's just gonna be 
it's going to be hard to to get all the timing right and, and get all this done but I'm just working on it problem is I have to do it by myself so I will uh, I've been having a lot of visitors here lately put the lid back on this um, I've been having a lot of visitors come in and they want to look through the fish house some of them I, I allow it some of them I don't it just depends on what they want to do um, but anyway I'm still working at it still going and we'll get it uh, we'll get it all figured out sooner or later guys thanks for watching subscribe to my channel visit my website if you need anything there's a products page on there it's called mineral springs tilapia.com and uh, we'll get it uh, I can get you anything you need so just give me a holler and let me know what you need me to do Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.